Sky wide open for the 78 of Moore this weekend. Three wide again in the middle of the pack. Everybody keeps it out the hall. And Chris Jenner, who is trying to grab for as much grip as he can the inside line. Brian Nolan goes from his seventh starting position to second. Top four cars qualify. And the bubble on the outside is the 38 of Dean Caballero. All the way to the wall and the bunch got away. Caballero brings it all the way to the automaker, loses the fourth and final qualified spot, the four of Doug Murphy now. In the fourth spot, fifth is the 80th Pete Ainsworth. Pete Ainsworth in car number 80. Eighth in points, title of Brendan Moody coming into today. And the four of Doug Murphy back in 15th in points. So the 80 Ainsworth. Oh, we're trying to get this round qualified spot in. If he can do it, he's got two laps to do when they come back. Two laps to go for your leader, the 39 of Billy Sawyer. Second place, the 78 of Ryan Nolan. Third place, Robin Wood in the 61. On fourth and final qualified car is kind of a four of Doug Murphy. Battle shaping up the third spot. Here comes the Eddie of Angelus now. With one lap to go, goes to the high side. The outside grooves down the front straight away. Then he turns right into Angelus. Can't find the hole he needs. It looks like he might have to set up a fifth. He'll go to the country. Checkers flag at 39. Uh, Ryan Bosley. You're well, second place, Ryan. Allen. Third place, the 61 of Robin Wood. And the four car of Doug Murphy. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause, if you will, the 39 of Billy Sawyer. Well, behind the scenes, Ryan Nolan had carburetor problems in first practice. Billy Sawyer lent him his spare carburetor to the 78 team, and that obviously helped him out quite a bit, going from 7th to 2nd. So the first four, Doug Murphy, Robin Wood, the 78 of Ryan Nolan, and the 39 of Billy Sawyer, your first four into the mini milk bowl for the Tiger Sportsman. Attempting to ride shotgun. Here we go! Oh, three wide on the start green flag as Mark Jermaine shifts down. Mark Jermaine with troubles on the start, shakes it up early. Burlington gets the green flag. Now he puts the foot on the pedal. I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. Uh, Sean Fury brings the field down. Three wide again, he comes to it away. Three wide race turns on the one side of the arena. Jermaine is trying to the back straight away. The 10. Uh, Beetle Bailey on the outside falls backwards. And Burlington. Oh, 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 there we go. Oh, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. All right, Burlington in the 71 will retire for the weekend in the 71 car. And we know Javier is now qualified. He's in full spot. Justin Hart third. Second place, the zero of Buck Pannier. And your leader of 31, now Sean Fleury. The previous winner got his first win of the season on Labor Day weekend here at Thunder Road. The Subway and Labor Day Classic sweepstakes. The 31 of Fleury got his first win of the season. And a Lenny's Hot Shoe Award for his first win. Leads him down to halfway next time. Six down, six to low for heat number one of four. And round one qualifying for the Apple Auto Parts Tigers Sportsman. And Sean Fleury, the class of him right now with a five car like the Gunners over the hammer, Mark Downey on the zero. Halfway is coming down for Sean Fleury, single file, back top ten cars, the 33 car of Joey Roberts. Battling with the six car of Terry Pierce Jr. on the back of the field. Here comes Rose Javier looking to the left positions by one out of turn four. Rose Javier lays strong, battling for the fourth and final qualified spot now in turns three and four. The 12, Javier on the outside. The 89, Stearns, downstairs out of turn four. All this happening in the rearview mirror, the 44 of Justin Hart. A half battle, two laps to go with the line. Oh, and Jolay cuts the tire down. Problems for Jolay in the 12 car. Breaks something broke on the right front of the 12 car. 
Avrino Zerino, what a tough break. This is a 10 mile pain, he might have made it. And it's run forward, Sean Foley gets the right flag. Second place to him, and Mark Donnier. Third to 34 of Justin Hart. And first is the 89 of Ray Strange. Checkers fly for Sean Foley, a winner. Second place to zero, Mark Donnier. Justin Hart is third. In the fourth and final qualified car is Ray Stearns. Well, the next four to advance to the Tiger, the mini milk for Ray Stearns in the 89, the 44 of Justin Hart, the zero of Mark Downey, your annual winner, the Roberts Electric, car number 31, Sean Floyd. Pace car comes in and ready to go. Delphi on the inside, and on outside the 86 of Barcel Gravel, top four to call for out of turn four, green flag. Green is out, the 86, Barcel Gravel gets the jump down the back straight away. Outside lane advances, and the back straight away. Federal Joe coming in, as is the point lead player in the 52 car. Scott Payer with a seven point advantage over Ryan Nolan, who finished second in his heat. Payer in third spot, battling to keep that position. At the outside, Green with a 55 of Brian Dazia. The 86, Marcel Gravel leads the charge. Here comes double O, Joe Seven. Sneaks down the inside of the back straightaway. Gets the thunder up underneath the 86 of Marcel Gravel. Battle for the little girl. To the road, Joe Stephan on the inside. Stephan on the inside, in the double zero. Side by side of the 86 of Marcel Gravel. Gravel comes back on the outside of turns three and four. And Gravel will move lap four. Side by side again. A passenger door to window north, Joe Stephan in the double zero. The Tiger Crown on the inside. Will we lap five? And Scott Perio looking to get a little impatient now as these two drivers race side by side. Perio in the 52 is trying to find a way around me. Oh, trouble! Two and three. Little Beauty in the 53 and the 67 of Joe Bouillet. And this will not bring out a caution as everybody's moving. And Gravel gets the advantage out of the corner. Marcel Gravel on the outside will take the lead. But here comes double O Joe Stephan back on the inside. Oh, trouble. The two goes around. Caution on the speedway. Caution is out the two car. Uh, Josh Lovely spins in the back stretch, bring out a first caution and Tiger Sportsman qualifying. At lap number seven, just after halfway. Joe Stephan. Gravel 12th in points coming into today. Just nine points out of 11th with Chris Grout in the 11th spot. Here we go. Turn four. Green flag. Green is out. And Marcel Gravel gets the job in the inside lane this time. The 52. Three wide of the back straightaway. Josh Lovely or Boone get to be the victims this time. Everybody stays moving forward, we'll stay green. Battle for second spot here. Oh, here comes the double A again. Stepping on the outside of the 86 of our cell grammar. The 94 car. Also in it, that's little Brendan Moody. Two laps to go this time. Double O, Joe Stephan working the outside, letting out the 86 of our cell gravel. Here comes the 52 now. Pull to the outside. He's looking about a side by side. Two to go this time. Two laps to go for Double O, Joe Stephan, Marcel Gravel, the 86. And the 52 of Scott Pello. Little Brendan Moody right there. He's feeling the end of the final qualified spot by the 60 of Jeff Piscou. One flag this time. In we go. Double O, Joe Stephan secures the lead. Here comes Pello in the 52. Trying to get that. Second position, here they come out of turn four. It's tough for the double zero. 52, Pelo. 86, Barcel, Gravel, 94. Uh, Brendan Moody, your next four cars. And Jimmy Milkball. 
Winner Brandon Moody. Marcel Gravel, Scott Perry, and your winner. From Essex Junction, Vermont, of the Northern Corner, Owenuski Press, I will be a double O, Joe Stephan. And the Tiger painted, Napa Tiger Sportsman. Got Warrior Champion this year is destined to be, is just uh, pretty much clinched it anyway. Coming out of turn four, green flag. Well, it looks like he's already got a flag on the right front of the 99 car. You can't hit the line of the Tiger and keep going. It just doesn't work. Just does not work. And it's, oh, yeah, it's been done. Cobra and Gus the jump on the inside lane, bringing the 49 course crop, the 40 of Trevor Lambert on the 7 of Chip Brenny Lee on the inside. The outside is Captain Kelly trying to hang on for the life. Outside groove now working so well for the 32 of Captain Kerry Henry. He tries to hang on, clawing at the 40 of Trevor Lyman, trying to keep that fourth position, but here comes Granny on the inside. Chip Granny, car number seven, battling the 32 of Captain Kerry Henry for the fourth and final qualified spot. Granny takes it. Granny the fourth spot in turn three, bringing Boudreau with him in the 96 car. Brian Boudreau in car number 96, starting for fifth spot. Looking to be the first car to make it into the council out of this heat. Battle for third spot as Lyman's on the move on the outside. Oh, Grove makes a lane change. A last minute lane change for the 49 of Chris Grouse. Something perhaps going away in the 49. We'll see if he can get it back together here in turns three and four. He does so, and Trevor Lyman starts again to the outside lane. Halfway, six down, six to go. Six down, six to go. Out of turn four, it's the run of Coburn. Here comes the seven of Glenny around the outside. Four cars under a blanket in turn two. The top four to qualify as they now advance their points positions inside that top four. Coburn in the one car. Your leader. Chip Gladier, foot and points coming into this weekend on the outside in second spot. He's going to try to go for one more on the outside groove. Here they come, four cars side by side, two to two to turn four. And the turns one and two, it's on the outside. The solo Chip Gladier, the inside the one car of Scott Cover, then it's Chris Scott on the four to the and here comes Gladier to lead. Chip Gladio makes the move to the outside. Takes the lead, bringing the 40 car Trevor Lyman with him. Right flag this time by. Right flag is out. On the inside, battle for the lead. The seven of the Chip Gladio, the outside of Trevor Lyman coming to the checkered flag. It's going to be Chip Gladio, Trevor Lyman. Scott Coburn and the 49 of Chris Grout. Your top four. All the way from sixth position to the win. Chip Grunny on the seven car. And so the next four, Chip Grunny, Trevor Lamont, Chris Grout, and Scott Coburn. The next four, the first 16. Travis Packett, the Packett Rocket in the 71, the 60 of Joe Small, your point leader, Tom Cotter in the 18, and uh, that's about green flag. Green is out. Tommy Thunder gets the job on the outside of Martin Ingram. Five car advantage on lap one for Tommy Thunder, but keep an eye on Super Joe. Super J Fecto working the outside groove on the 39 to 38 car of Ron Navarro, the 48 of Lloyd Blakely. The 60 of Joe Small, your point leader, starting nearly a shotgun of the field, is staying there right now. And then there's a 24 advantage, point advantage over the 50 of next week. This is not 
I will clarify if we smile this far, we're 20% through this. Uh, 30 is the other 3 out of 10. Yeah, we're going to have to the 51 car of uh, Mo Olusen from Milton, Vermont will get the black flag. Uh, Sally Thunder nearly runs into one of them straight away. Hey, Tommy, reel it in just a little bit. You know, use up your race car in the heat, my man. Tommy Thunder in the 22, now 10 car lengths. What a show off, huh? Martin in the 16 second, battle for two. Lord Blakey on the outside of the 38 of Wicked Wanda. Wanda on the inside. Wanda Burnham in the 38. The outside, the 48 of Lord Blakely. Alex Perkins right there in fifth spot. Tommy Thunder is trying to time trial for the big milk bowl here in the 22 car. Battle for third spot continues. Lloyd Blakely's got the edge down on that sand groove, and he pulls it off. Here comes Alex Perkins with him in the 21 car. Alex Perkins from Chelsea, Vermont, in car number 21 on the outside of Plainfield, New Hampshire's Randa Burnham as they battle in turns three and four. Two to go this time. Two laps to go, and the point leader is still, still straight in the back. Joe Small in car number 60 is having the worst qualifying race of his career. He's only has 24 points at stake here to keep the championship. White flag. Right flag, checkers are fly for the show off, Tommy Thunder, as he's got a straightaway. And he nearly hits the line on the checker flag. Where to go, Tommy? The 16, Martin Ingram second, third place, Lord Blakely, fourth, Alex Perkins, and dancing David Allen is your fifth place car. And here's your winner, the show off, Tommy Thunder in car number 22, Tommy Smith from East Montpelier, previous winner here on the weekly racing series for the Iron Member Street Stocks. Just, uh, the Labor Day weekend of uh, Jonathan Pearson, he's the winner from Labor Day weekend, is next, and Brady Therrien from Lemonville, Vermont, riding shotgun, green flag. Turn left, qualifying dash for the Iron Member Street Stocks to 40 of Sean Powell. Breaks the field into the lead out of the outside of the front row and will bring the two kind of Eric Johnson with him. Here comes Johnson to the outside. Eric Johnson is going to work the outside of the two of the 40 car of Sean Powell. Battle for the lead. Two by two out of turns three and four. It's Powell on the inside. Johnson up the up the outside groove. And with one hand on the steering wheel, Eric Johnson takes three on the outside of the 40 car. Powell will go to second. Here comes the winner. And uh, look at the 50 of Nick Sweet. I already made up five positions in the 50 car. The number two point row doing everything he can to make his way up into the top spot in points. As he is a 24 point deficit over Joe Small, who finished in the tail of the first heat. Here comes Johnson, your leader. Sean Powell, second. Third place to 47 a winner. Really the winner, Hunter who I think is on his third or fourth recycled race car of the season. He's told over half, or nearly half dozen of them, I think, this year. And the winner is second right now. Sean Powell is third. Fourth place, the 82, Steve Violet. Violet in car number 82. Is your third place point driver. He's 20 points back from Nicholas Sweet. And Violet in the 82, racing four. Here comes Sweet on the outside. Battling with Tim Battle. Battle in the 28. Uh, trying to hold back the 50 of Nick Sweet. Here goes Sweet to the outside. Battle goes high. Nine champs there. Battle goes back. Right here comes Nick Sweet to the outside. Three out of turn four. Oh, Jonathan Pearson throws a sneaker and takes the Widowmaker to task and turn four. Cash on the speedway. Crashing on the speedway, and they're still racing in turn four, and they're still racing on the front stretch. And after the flag, they're pointing fingers at each other. How about that? Early the winner, Hennequin, on the outside of the 47 car. 
Here we go. Green flag to come out of turn four. Here it is. Eric Johnson gets the drop lane. Steve Allen with him on the inside of the 82 car. On the outside, Groove going backwards to 47 away. Willie Hennick went on the outside. Oh, he's trying to run the back up and gets all the sideways on a turn four. Here's the Hennick on the outside. Willie Hennick going back up and gets all the sideways on a turn four. And it turns one and two down the back chute. It's the two car, Eric Johnson. Nick Sweet goes to fifth spot, working the outside of Steve Long Chip. The channel three videographer in car number three, working the outside line is the 50 car of Nick Sweet. Right flag, one lap to go. Out of turn four. Checkers for Eric Johnson, Steve Allen, Willie Valerio, Nicholas Sweet, and the three of Steve Longchamp. And that's it for the round number street stop. Crown of Powers, the next time we'll see them will be tomorrow in their mini uh, milk bowl. Seven round of applause for Eric Johnson, the two taking the win. And the uh, map of the round number street stop. Crown of Powers. Six cars, and only six will advance directly in the segment one of the Dusty's Buffalo Green Flag. Fifty laps of heavy metal racing, the top six cars to qualify into the Union Dodge Dealers with the segment one. Caution is out. Caution is out. Uh, lap number two is Gary Carroll loops the Kellen's auto body car. Tad Stone, Mark Lambert on the front row. The 75, feet back to the 14, a full scrap. And on the outside is row two, green flag. Green flag is down. Looking in, 
is the 18 of Jamie Fisher, the uh, Thunder Road champion, Christopher Saab, Chad Wheeler, and DJ Jennings from the Trial Star.
He's got a right front tire down by the looks of it. Something amiss on the 10 car of David Avery. And looks like he's going to have to repower it as it is. Tough break for Avery in car number 10. Police cars come on. We're going to turn them loose now. And the drivers bring it to full speed down the back straightaway to see if it's good. Everybody appears to be making it through just fine. Continues the run to the remaining 24 laps with he, Team Jamie Fisher, along with Joey Becker, and DJ Cunnington from last week's winner. Oh, and Todd Stone getting a little bit of a jump. A turn four. Here they come side by side with the green flag. Oh, hook to the sideways. Santa nearly dumped his milkball and the front straightaway sideways at the east side and here comes Stone to the lead at a turn four. Twenty-two laps to go and they come back to the line for Todd Stone. Full staff, he's back to the top three. Full space is going to have up Mark Robertson and fifth feet of Rich Lowry in sixth place, 85 of Trevor Simone, 792 car of Chad Wheeler. That battle for that eight, uh, seventh and final qualified spot is right now between the 15 of the car and the 92 of Chad Wheeler. Scott breaks free from the 75 with Pete Franco. Scott to second place. Going to see Tony out of Mark Hamilton in third. Fourth place is 75. Pete Franco in 58 of Rich Lowry. Travis Simone is the 85 class. It's six. And now Kyle for seven spot on the inside. The 15 of Joey LaFleur. On the outside with that 18 of Chad Wheeler. 18 laps to win in this 50 lap turn qualifier. On the inside, it's the 50 of LaFleur in seven spot. Here comes the 92. Wheeler back on the outside down the back straightaway. Scott, Mark Lamberton, Keith 
Castro, Luis Larry, Sandy Samaras, and Joe Luttrell. Al Carta, Luttrell, and the bottom of the 15 car. We have the 18, Jamie Bissell. We have the little miss, but only two trying to hear those problems. We have a little time right now. Looks like the time is on now, but only two trying to hear.
time round, the 88 car. Trying to decide which one he wants to hold on to is the 88 Range Rover that goes to the inside. General second now, Bousquet will drop back to third spot. Fourth place is Steve Bennett, but here comes Delphi on the outside. Brian Delphi, a car number 55 on the outside groove. Working uh, on the outside, working the three car of Steve Bennett for a four spot. Battle for fourth really doesn't mean much except for positioning in the B feature. Third car to qualify is the 60 of Jeff Biscay. Two laps to go, and they come back to the line. Two laps to go for Pete Ainsworth in the 80. The 72 of General and the 60 car of Jeff Bousquet. Ainsworth, eighth in points coming into today, tied with Brendan Moody, the 94. Moody qualified in round one, so he's gained some points on the 80 car of Ainsworth. Out of turn four, checkers five, Pete Ainsworth, here we are. Chris Trimlow, second, third place, the 60 of Jeff Biscay. And the battle for fourth will go to the 55 of Brian Delphia by the Thunder. And Ray Beatty does a round 80, a Chitwood style round 80 on the infield. Final of applause, if you will, for the 80th features of the year. Here we go, it's Adam Maynard on the inside of Brian Boudreau, green flag. Green is out, and there's no break in the top eight cars as they come into turn three and four. The five now, Maynard, Adam Maynard, on the inside will take the lead. Top three cars to qualify in this 12-lap consolation round. Only three will make their way into the main oak up and up. It's by Sardis. And he just couldn't save it. He tried. Boy, he tried. I'll go hard to save that. And he brings it back. Woo! Smoke show out of turn four. It's the five out of minute. Peter Bailey, second, third place, the 96 of Boudreaux. Then it's the 32, Captain Kerry Henry. Kerry Henry would really like to not have to run the B feature. Right now he's one position from qualifying. We'll see if he can pull it out for the turn four. He comes up to about front row, the 96 of Ryan Boudreaux. In the turns three and four, we go down the back straight away now. Top four cars, Darius to turn. Four laps will be complete as they cross the line of the turn four. The 10 car, Bailey, takes a beat to the inside of the final round of Maynard. Adam Leonard feeling the heat from the 10 car of Vito Bailey. Bailey goes to the inside one more time. Turn final room. Bailey again comes to the inside, takes a peek downstairs. He goes again in three and four. Bailey in the town taking a peek to the inside. Maynard leaves the groove open on the front straight away. Leaves it open in one and two. Here comes the team. Bailey cannot get the boat. He needs up a turn two. Adam Maynard hanging out of the outside right on the lead. Here comes Bailey again to the inside. Battle for the lead. Half a car length up on the inside now. Adam Maynard's crowd begins to go away. As the time, Beetle Bailey on the inside. Eight laps down, four. Now three to go as they cross the line this time. Adam Maynard begins to go backwards. Brian Boudreau, Kerry Henry looking to capitalize on the five car, which tends to be going low. Uh, two laps to go this time. For the 10 car of Mike Peter Bailey. The five. About a minute here comes the 32 of Captain Kerry Henry. 
Can you return everything you can? Third row side down the back straight away. That's not going to happen out. White flag this time for Bowie. White flag. One to go for Bowie. Mount Peter Bowie. For five. Adam in second. Third place. Brian B. Well, one lap left for Captain Kelly. And Henry is going to have to go to the B feature. Check this flag this time. Mike Bailey in the 10 to play, number 10. The foul, Adam Mayer, second and third place. Brown Dubrow in car number 96. So three more cars have joined the starting field of segment one of the Napa Auto Parts Tiger Sportsman Mini Milk Bowl. And they are the 10 of Mike Buda Bailey, the five of Adam Mayer, and the 96 car of Brown Dubrow. Well, that's it. Who's bound for something stupid in the one? is George Sanders, green flag. Tom Strasburg away the lead. Jeremy Perkins back to second in the 60. Uh, Jason Pichon already almost dead last in the 84. Beautiful. The 61 through the infield. Kevin Streeter, no problem. The cow car in the row, 57, Josh Rowland. No, this thing's already come on good. Brady Cohen up to second in the 58. The 72 sideways in turn four. Bring it back. That's Don Deer in the 72. No problem. Josh Owen has lost his mind in the 57. The 78 puking in the infield. Craig Jennings. Car decides he doesn't have a race anymore. Jeremy Blake quitting on the backstretch in the Matty Young car. Jeremy Perkins will be free. Nobody wants to race today. Absolutely nobody. Get out of there, Andy. Blake to the fence. No, never mind. Unbelievable. Tony Strasburg, the leader. Brady Coburn running second. Kyle Malau, Eric Sarles, Kyle in the infield, Tim Cookson. And that right front of the 47 car of Eric Sarles, that thing is just about at the radish as he comes to a stop at the top of turn one. The yellow flag is out for the 47 of Eric Sarles. And they're still wrecking. Jeremy Perkins with a flat tire at the top of turn one and two. Eric Chase in the infield. Jay and Slam and Steve running their own race. This car is in. Green flag set to fire. Oh, the old one is blown up. Number two point man, Mike Martin, copping up blood in the old one. Well, if the cold weather didn't kill the mosquitoes, that certainly did. Josh Owen muscling his way through the pack, through the flash off the top of turn two. Owen still not finding the racetrack. There you go. Just lovely. Oh, beautiful pressure's back in the 56. Chris Clark to the infield in the convertible. Strasburg, Brady Coburn smoking heavily. Oh, and a flash around again in the 56. Bounces off the barrier. Fire that ground away. Awesome. Challenge for second spot. Kevin Street of the 61 around the outside of Brady Coburn. Josh Owen at it again to the 57. Stone and Steve to Port Road. And now the squirrels are going to start to be a problem for the leaders. Tom Strasburg trying to go around the 69 o'clock. Three cars under a blanket at the front of the field. Three out to the lead. Oh, they're throwing it away. 
shooter in the 61. Brady Coburn in the 58 in a car about half the size of the 6, trying to go for the lead in lap traffic. And doing a strides lap. Ken Strides goes up half, trying to hold on to the lead. And here comes the streeter guy back in the 61. Brody Coburn trying to throw the needle, can't find the room, but it's way out again at the front of the pack. Oh, come back, Brody! Coburn in the infield. And believe it or not, he's still in the top six or seven, no problem. That'll put Streeter up to second, Kevin King to third. Five laps to go next time by. And my boy Jason is about to get a lap down. Brady Coburn in the foot roll in the 58. Oh man, side by side for the lead, side by side, lap traffic in front of him. Shooter at the line had it. Oh man, three wide with my little car in the middle. Worst investment ever. Shooter the new leader, Schroedsberg back to second. Here comes Kevin Keene in the 49. Oh man, it's all come apart at the front of the pack. Kevin Streeter away with the lead. Kevin Keane trying to dump Kenny Strasburg. Billy Jenkins now third in the 32. Oh, he's dumped hard in the wall, Billy Jenkins. Yellow flag is out. Billy Jenkins hard into the wall in the 33 car. And uh, Josh Evans trying to be part of something in the 88 car. Man, did he hit the 33. Holy crap. First of two power shift warrior features. Field coming out of turn four, albeit not together, but the green flag is out. And the 72, Don Brewer, taking a little break in turn one and two. Kevin King comes flying out of the infield. Eric Sales losing it in turn three, gathers it back in. Two laps to go for Kevin Schroeder in the 61. Two to go for Schroeder. Matt Richardson up to third and, uh, second in the 71. Oh, Jason upside down! Unbelievable! Jason Pichot upside down in the 84. Driving away, Jason. Oh, beautiful. Jason Pichot, and he's driving it away, ladies and gentlemen. And the proudest person at Thunder Road right now. Unbelievable. Kid just barely learns how to drive standard, gets in, rolls the thing, and starts it up and drives it away. Ah, it's a thing of beauty. Best investment ever. Jason Pichet in the 84. So, Kevin Street is going to be the winner in the 61. Matt
And Dan Taylor having a wonderful time in the 54. Oh, they're working on a front stretch. Dale puts him. Oh, man, Dale Bickford. Maynard Battle, the 23. Man, is the 59 about three feet shorter than when it started. Holy cow, both ends of the 59, Dale Bickford. What happened? Two laps complete, 18 glorious laps to go. Steve Tracy, sort of with a green flag. Bucky Williams, stealing the show on the 96, he's your new leader. Here comes Gatley, they're going to split in three loud, two loud to the lead. We saw this in the first race, that didn't work out too well. They're three loud in turn four, they're three loud in turn three. And Bucky Williams, drop kick back to third of the 96. Steve Tracy and Ron Gabbery. Oh, Josh Moby around on the seven. And here comes the death trap to move in the infield. Hit him again. Oh, they're all set. Oh, Marvelous. Steve Tracy through the, the speed bumps as your leader. Oh, look out! None of the three leaders could choose a lane to get underneath that lap car. Bucky Williams now back up to second. And here comes Medcalf out of the back in car number four. Car number four, Medcalf Canada, flying down the front stretch outside the 32 of Randy Henry. Mud flap up to fifth. Now we'll go to work on a double zero of Jacario. Maybe. Three line out of four. Jacario blocking for all his worth in the double zero. Here comes Mud flap one more time outside him. Battle for second. Ron Jabbery back up to second in the man car. Now Mudflap takes over a fourth spot in car number four and he'll try to track down the leaders. Steve Tracy, who must like the speed bumps because he's in them at every corner of every lap. Oh, Bunky Williams! Bring it back, Bunky! Ass up! Beautiful piece of driving. I think he's ready for the mud ball. Halfway this time by for Steve Tracy. Ten down, ten to go for the 43 car of Tracy. Gabriel in the nine. Oh, they're working in turn one. Dale Cooks in the 73, Derek Teacher in the 41. They've got to figure it out. And here comes Medpath in the four. Trying to track down Bucky Williams. Oh, Heather Gagnon backwards in the law. Boy, Derek Kitcher having a wonderful time in the 41. He's done it just about every single lap they've had. Side by side, battle for third. Bucky Williams down low. Mud Flap kind of a up high. Steve Tracy, the 43 car. Still leading. Brandon Supernaut with a dub job in turn one. Didn't quite turn out the way he wanted it to. Jim Hobart, the 06, comes back with a save. James Gap with a lights out on a zero car. Oh, Pal Jacquel around. Third teacher around again in the 41. That's his fourth lap this race. And now he's going to come right out and pull the leaders. Jacario doing his passes at the end of pit road at level zero. Going to send the 32 to the penalty box, Randy Henry. To give him a two-lap minor for being an idiot. 
I think he knows what he's got to do. They're going to have Jimmy Lamar, the unofficial official, give him a little talking to, and then they'll send him out as well. Two laps to go. Two laps to go this time by for Steve Tracy, the 43 leader, Ron Bradley, the crowd tracking down and lap traffic. They're too wide in front of the leader. Look at him push the 54 of Dan Gale down the back stretch. Brad Gabbery. He's got everything with the lottery and the pace car in this race. Red flag is out for the 43, Steve Tracy, looking for his first junkyard warrior win. And Ron Gabbery, the man, will become the champion. Out of turn four, checkers in the air. Steve Tracy, the winner. Ron Gabbery, second with the championship in the nine. And Mudflap, home third in car number four. Derek Kutcher would spin number five to close out the Junkyard Warriors season. And we're at the victory lane. Coming up in the track clean back here, and especially in turns one and two. Uh, All right, our winner is from the last two. Junkyard Warrior Mayor Lentz, who uh, won the 43 car. Steve Tracy on his way for his victory lap, and we'll head down trackside. Justin St. Louis will be sitting with Kevin Streeter, who is the winner of the first Junkyard Warrior Mayor Lentz, and the 43 car of Steve Tracy coming around for the second win. And right now we'll head down trackside to Justin St. Louis for a victory lane. Thank you, Troy. We're sending the car's first Junkyard Warrior win. Car number 43, Steve Tracy. And the winner of feature number one, Kevin Streeter. Kevin, uh, your second time out. No better way than uh, coming to the road than take a win, huh? No, actually, we had a great car the first race. Uh, led 25 laps, came up five laps short. Got stopped in a while, but it was a good car tonight. I'm pretty sure you won the thing. Uh, this one? Uh, the second one. I mean the first one. Oh, yeah. I'm talking the first race. Oh, I get Last week. Okay, well, uh, we'll look to see you next year, and uh, congratulations. Kevin Streeter from Waitsfield, the winner in time number 61. And uh, Steve Tracy, the winner of the second feature. He spent all season in the top five, ran top five in points. The car looks like crap, but you got to win. You'll have that. I guess that's Feel pretty good? Oh, yeah. Coming back next year? Oh, yeah. All right, Steve Tracy, the 43, your winner. Kevin Streeter, the winner in the first feature, and that'll do it for the Junkyard Warriors. But uh, before that, oh boy, I don't even know. He made a spectacular debut in the Napa Tiger Sportsman Division just a few moments ago, but uh, he finished it off the right way. Your 2004 Junkyard Warrior champion, Ronnie Gabbery, kind of a ride. Ron, uh, you, spent, you spent all year in the top five like uh, Steve Tracy. You battled with Mutt Pratt, Pointerville, Mike Martin, all those guys, and you got yourself a championship. How's that feel? That uh, feels great. I mean, my Tiger car tonight, his trailing arm broke out of it. That's what I think's pretty much junk, huh? Uh, yeah, pretty much now. I, I think that Cavalier might be a little bit faster, no? A little bit. A little bit. All right, well, I'm Gabbery. Uh, he'll look to improve next year in the Napa Tiger Sportsman Division. But for now, he's the 2004 Powership Timeline Junkyard Warrior Champion at Thunder Road. And uh, ACT Dodge Tour final practice for the day is coming up next. And we'll go back upstairs to Troy.